affirmative claims that their proposed policy, which only increases tax incentives, uh, would be effective in increasing fossil fuel use, or increasing wind energy adoption. This, this, uh, this relies upon the assumption that cost is the main barrier to adoption. They argue against themselves when they say that the cost of wind energy is already cheaper to or comparable to um, fossil fuels. I have a statistic that on, onshore wind energy generation cost is between 4.7 cents and 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour. This is very competitive with modern fossil fuel plants. If cost is not the main issue, they must address other issues. If there's a much larger issue that is holding it back, they cannot increase adoption simply by throwing more money at the problem. I believe that the proposed policy will fail to increase wind power adoption because cost is not the only barrier to adoption within the United States. In reality, there are a number of other factors limiting development of wind energy in the United States. A study by the Department of Energy identified multiple technical challenges in the installation of energy grid and energy grid interconnections as significant challenges in the deployment of wind energy. There are also political problems. Building wind farms is a very new process. We don't really have the permitting processes kind of laid out yet. Currently, if you want to build a wind power station uh, in the ocean, you have to contact the FWS, the NOAA, the EPA, the USACA, the NPS, the FAA, the USCG, the DOI, the BOEMRE, and the EPA. And it must all be consulted if you want to obtain a permit to build an offshore wind energy plant. This obviously slows down construction dramatically and makes it much uh, makes it much less attractive to capital investors who would otherwise be building this. Um, I, I feel that any policy that does not address any of these issues and just simply assumes that giving that making it cheaper will increase adoption is short-sighted and does not take the whole picture into account. 